Hey guys, Karen e. Rose, Karen e. Rose speaking. And um, today we gonna get in some shit. So I got some shit I wanna get off my chest. So I've been seeing a couple of YouTube videos where they are saying that if black women wear a weave, they're trying to be like the white European woman. And um, I'm about to stop all that shit. I'm gonna drop a little few history bombs on y'all. Back then, comedic woman, AKA black woman, they used to shave off the pharaoh's hair. Then after they shaved the pharaoh's hair off, they would boil it in hot water. And then they'll let it dry. And then they'll sew it onto their hair or they would make wigs out of it. So we've been doing this shit for millions of years. It's called the exalting process. They believe that they believe that, that influence you to do better be things and to have higher power. Influence you to do better things. I can actually name some of the queens that actually put hair extensions in their hair and this is in the ancient Kimmy times this is like way before white people came into existence now i'm gonna name the first pharaoh queen her name is hepchatset her father is a very powerful man if you know anything about her father he was a mathematic teacher and if you know anything about him he is really one of the reasons why a lot of people say amen but they're really supposed to be saying amun but, like I said, she followed in her father's footsteps and she became a master teacher. But we're going to be talking about hair. So she had these big curls, but sometimes she'll switch it up and she'll put hair extensions in her head. You know, let's just say if it was a celebration or someone passed away, she would put, you know, some hair extensions like to switch it up, you know. But our next queen is Sobek Neferu. Now. She was actually the last ruler of the 12th dynasty. But her hair was long and straight. She didn't have, you know, just long and straight. And sometimes she would put in hair extensions to fill her hair out sometimes, you know. Our next pharaoh queen is Amarna. Now, Amarna would create some styles. She would have 70 different hairstyles that she created. And she would use hair extensions to create these hairstyles she would use them in her hair and she was actually one of the most beautiful you know pharaohs that they had at that time she was a baddie back then child <clears throat> so before you guys want to judge and say that when a black woman put weaves in her hair she's trying to be like a white woman that's bullshit we've been doing this shit for millions of years way before these people came into existence black women used to always love to switch up their hair I know damn well, I don't want to be like no goddamn white woman. Let me tell you something. We not out here kidnapping kids and kidnapping people for their organs. We don't have to use their melanin to survive in the sun. We don't have to use their cells to keep going on in life. We bless. And another thing I hate when people say, I hate when people say that you're not African enough if you put weave and wigs in your head. Let me tell you something, there's a lot of motherfucking Africans right now that don't know their true history because it's being stripped of them. Excuse me, stripped away from them. A lot of black people don't know who we are no more. That's why we run around here crazy. There was a woman who came in my comments and she asked me, how can you call yourself a queen or a goddess if you're wearing another woman's crown and i'm like well damn what she mean by that so we go back and forth for a little bit and when we go back and forth i'm realized oh she's talking about the hair that i have in my head oh i said okay but i got something to say about this my crown comes from how i think and how i move and how i carry myself as a young woman my crown does not come from me if I have my real hair or my natural hair in my head. When people choose you to be a queen or a king, they're choosing you because they believe that you're smart. They believe that you're going to be a better leader. They believe that you're going to make the right moves for the kingdom. That's why they choose you to be a king or a queen. Not because of what's in your head or what's out your head. Now, woman, I would say this. If I am wearing another bitch's crown, that's because that bitch lost it in a fair fight. And what I mean by that is that, let's just say when a queen goes up against another woman who has an army, 
let's just say just just making some things up what do they do they get their soldiers together they go to war now if that queen loses she loses her crown and that crown goes to that other woman now and i also say this women love your real hair love your natural hair i love my real hair i love my natural hair that's a part of me it grows beautiful it grows long it's amazing i love it um, black woman it's in your dna you've been doing this shit for millions of years yeah, that's why a lot of black women are they they pros at what they at the hair game now you know y'all have mastered the shit y'all been doing this in your dna baby shit what can you do but I did see a video of Mr. Lego saying that why black men are, you know, not choosing women with wigs and weeds. I'll say this. Hold on. That's bullshit. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Mr. Lego. He said a lot of things that is positive and that is true. But I'm going to have to say this. There are some black men who do love black women with their natural hair none but their natural hair but there are some black men out here who do love black women with their natural hair and some weave and some weave in their head because they got some men who love when a woman can switch it up you know a man love when his woman can look good and just switch it up man as long as your hair look good that's all right with me shit you know what i'm saying but um like i said you know guys multiply divide subscribe and um boom i'm about this bit and right now y'all have a great day because i know i will right now